people of God, the Bible says for many days, this damsel followed them. Can I borrow you and I need to borrow two of you and borrow a damsel? Is there any damsel that is borrowed? Come and follow them. So, as this man, we're going. You're going to be shouting. I hope you know. You're, you're going to be shouting. These are the servants of the Most High God. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And and this is exactly the way this one kept. And the question is, notice carefully that what she was saying was correct. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. What she was saying was correct. These are the servants of the Most High God. Wish you unto you the way of salvation. These are the servants of the Most High God. Wish you unto you the way of salvation. And all of them. At this point in time, remember her gift is the gift of sweet saying. At this point in time, she hasn't started dictating the future. She was just saying who they were and what they were doing. So at the point of agreement, she will now enter the next ministry. But I, am, I have dealt with the suit saying, the one that I am dealing with now is the one called familiar spirit. So, they are familiar with you. They are familiar with everything. And just in case, let me tell you the danger of familiar spirits is their ability to make you continue in a level that seems good when you have more to offer. What these men have come to do is not just to show the way of salvation. They have come with healing. They have come with deliverance. They've come with power. So what you are saying is not all that. There are some of us here the demons are so familiar with you. And familiar battles, familiar challenges, familiar sight. As I'm talking here, some of you don't need a suit. Say, what oh, is what I'm saying? You say, Pastor, I understand it. You know that there are, there are just some, sometimes you ask yourself, why am I going through the same thing again and again and all that? There's so much family. I'm familiar with this battle. And familiar with things will happen to you. Just somehow you just tell yourself, I know it will happen. I know it will happen. Oh, that's what good. I, I know I won't hear from them. For some reason, I know when it when it comes to me, you know, things just go a certain way. With a loud voice. Can you turn that reversed by fire? If you know you have been dealing with any familiar pattern, familiar cycle, can you raise your voice and thunder, reverse by fire? Can you shout it again? Say, reverse by fire. Can you scream it again? Reverse by fire. Shout it again. Reverse by fire. Oh yeah, take it. Take your take your seat. Take your seat. The power of familiar spirits is in their voice, is in what they repeatedly say. This is who you are. You can't do better than this. This is what you should aspire for. You are not better than this. Um, this is what the environment looks like. This is what everybody is saying. Because do you know her assignment finished the moment the man of God turned to her and told her, let these useless spirits get out of you. That was when her assignment finished. Negativities will be recreated until you shut down the voice that tells you that this is the way it is. Ah, Pastor, it has come to that time of the day when I usually catch fever. It has, it has come to that time of the day. It has come to that time. Every say, Pastor, you see, I cannot tell you every. You see, this match, 
and praying for it to pass. Because every match, something just somehow just goes wrong. And familiar, you look at your child that the Lord gave you, you are accommodating a negativity because you say, this child has always been like this. This one is very stubborn. This one does not know book. This one is the way it is. Raise your voice. That's why we came to service today. Can you shout it? Say reverse by fire. Lift up your right hand. Say today. Any voice that reinforces negativity around my life. Thunder, shut up. And as your two hands are lifted, I decree that they are forever silenced in the name of Jesus. I say they are forever silenced in the name of Jesus. They are forever silenced in the name of Jesus. They are forever silenced in the name of Jesus. They are forever silenced in the name of Jesus. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat.